Hello everyone. Thank you for joining Remote Sensing and JS Question and Answer Session Series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to get point of interest data from Google Maps, or also we can able to get point of interest data from Google Earth Pro. So, what is the mean by point of interest? Point of interest means suppose you want a restaurant in any particular city. Like I'm interested to know the restaurants in Hyderabad, or hotels in Hyderabad, or museums in Hyderabad. So, whatever the thing you want, you can search like ATMs. So, suppose I search ATMs in Hyderabad. Any particular city you can search. Okay, so you'll get the list here. So these are the list you, you can able to see the Bank of Bada, ICICI Bank. So what are the banks are there? You will get the information about all the banks. Okay, and you will get the information about the ATM locations. So how we can able to get this data into Excel sheet? So if you want to do any analysis for that, you can take this data. So like what we need to do, we just need to install the instant data scrapper. Okay. So you need to install this extension. Just need to go to Google Chrome and search instant data scrapper. So this extension you need to add here. So once you'll add extension, you will see this extension is added here. Okay. Instant data scrapper. So just need to go to ATMs and click here. So once you'll click here, you will see all the ATMs name showing here, like a Bank of Baroda ATM, then ICICI Bank. Okay. So up to this is selected up to this place. Okay. So if you want to select this one also, you can just click on the start scrolling. Okay. And here if you'll see the page scrap, only one page is scrapped. If you want to do another page scrap, we can do. Now there are 20 items are selected. Okay. Rows collected. 20. So if you click on the start scrolling, so now if you'll see another is selected. So this way you can crawl all these things. Okay. So like if you want more, you can select. So now you'll see we third time it is selected and 40 ATMs we have selected here. Like that, whatever data you want to select, you can just go on by selecting it. And what are the ATMs are there that you can able to get and you can able to download. Okay. So what you can able to do, you can just save this file in CSV file format, or you can just copy this and also you can paste it. Like if I'll copy this file, I can go to this uh, Excel sheet and I can just paste the file. So here you can able to see. So the name and also we are getting it is open for 24 hour or what time it is open. Then helpline number is there. Okay. So all information is given there. So this way very easily we can able to get this data set. Okay. So same way what we can able to do. We can also get this data from Google also Google Earth Pro. So just need to go Google Earth Pro and here we need to select anything point of interest like I'm interested to schools in Hyderabad. So once I'll click, you will see these are the schools in Hyderabad. And if you want to download this data set, okay. So one option is there. This option is there. That is copy the current search result to my place. Okay. So once I'll click here, this thing will add here. Once I'll go down you will see this schools in Hyderabad will add here. So just click on the schools in Hyderabad, you will see the list here. And now you can save my place as. So I'm interested to save this data in one folder that is a POI schools in Hyderabad. So I'll save in KML file. So I can save this as a KML file also. And from here also, you can able to get point of interest data very easily. So this way very easily you can get any data like you can get bus stop, then railway stations, then uh, what are the data you want? You just search here, petrol pump, you will get the list and you can take that list for your analysis. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you.